For those looking at the base two water housing kits, sometimes the lack of controls on the back plates can raise a lot of questions. In this video, we wanna share our tips on how to maximize your shooting experience by setting up your camera correctly in the first place before you use the base housing. Firstly, what we suggest is to set up your auto review time on your camera for a length of five seconds or more to give you enough time to glance and review images whilst you're shooting in the water. When it comes to ISO, we suggest auto ISO on most of the cameras. They do a fantastic job of selecting the correct ISO to give you a fantastic exposure. If you are looking to have more manual control over your ISO, the best way to do that is set parameters. So for example, I can set my camera to choose an ISO from between 100 and 800 ISO and everything in between, but it won't go further than ISO 800. So by doing that, you can set your parameters based on your shooting condition. When using the base kit, we suggest using one of three camera modes. Program, shutter priority, or aperture priority. If you do choose to shoot in program, it's very simple. Simply set the camera to P, let it do all the work. It will choose the correct ISO, shutter speed, and aperture to give you a perfectly exposed image. Next up is aperture priority. So what that means is you get to determine what your aperture value is, and the camera will choose the correct shutter speed to give you a perfectly exposed image. Last up, is shutter priority. Now this works exactly in the same way as aperture priority, but the roles are reversed. I'm gonna determine what shutter speed I want and let it figure out what aperture is needed. For example, if I'm looking to freeze the action, I would choose a fast shutter speed, or if I'm looking to add motion, I would choose a slow shutter speed and let the camera figure out the correct aperture. So what camera mode is right for you when using the base kit? If you're just looking to jump in and quickly document things, or if you're just starting your journey in photography, we suggest using P for program and just jumping in and getting in the water and using your gear. If you are looking to freeze the action, as I said, shutter priority is gonna be your best friend. Faster shutter speeds to freeze the action. If you're trying to add some motion, a slower shutter speed and let it figure out the aperture. If the depth of field is a big one for you and you're going for a very unique, shallow depth of field look, I would say aperture priority and control it from there. Let it figure out the correct shutter speed needed to give you that look and feel. So we hope that helps with any questions about how to get the most out of your shooting experience with the Base 2 water housing kit. If you are looking to get manual control at any stage, you can purchase a conversion kit, which will allow you to get a new back plate and go in your existing water housing and open up full manual control over your camera. We'll link the video to the conversion kits below and in the description.